Thank God it's a Friday. Welcome po sa August 27 edition ng The Stock Market Today. Sana po ay wala po tayong sakit, healthy po tayo, malayo po sa COVID. Ito po ang yung lingkod, Benji Chidoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. At ginagawa ko po itong report araw-araw. Sinimulan ko po noong August noong last year. At uh, nire-report ko rin ang latest news ng inyong mga paborito at most active stocks. And if you like the content, iniimbitahan ko po kayo mag-subscribe sa aking channel. At kung meron po kayong stocks na gustong ipareview, paki-comment lang po sa comment box at aking ipaprioritize. Ang financial news po natin ay mula sa Abuitis Power, kasama po ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating Philippine Stock Exchange ngayong araw, Friday the 27th of August 2021, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Okay, so let's start na po sa ating uh, headlines. Summary from uh, BDO Securities, August 27. Yung economic news po natin, Philippines post FPI outflow in July. That's uh, foreign portfolio investments outflow, meaning net cash palabas. Ano po? Probably nagbayad po tayo dito. Or uh, exports are greater than imports, ganun po. Pangalawa po, pre-pandemic economic level seen by end 2022. So, next year pa yun. Sabi ng NEDA, na next year pa po, or early 2023 pa nga. So, sa sectoral or company news, Aboytis and Company to Build Power Transmission Poles in Batangas. Ito po yung ating main news item. And then, DNL bond offering gets nod. So, na-approve na yung fixed rate offering ng uh, DNL. And then ERC clarifies listing requirement from NGCP. So let's now go to our specific headline. And may I put that up first from the business world, you know. Avoid these units to build power transmission poles in Batangas. Two Aboitis led firms specializing in construction and power distribution have forged a deal to build 73 overhead transmission poles in Lipa City and Malvar, Batangas to help stabilize power supply in the areas. In an email statement on Thursday, Aboitis Construction Inc. said it partnered up with power distributor Lima Enerzone, which is under Aboitis Corp., to construct the, the transmission. Poles. The poles are expected to help 69 kilovolt lines supply power to business located in Light Industry Science Park and residential areas in Malvar. The transmission poles project will kick off in November and is expected to be completed in six months, avoid this construction said. The project is part of a bigger initiative to enhance power delivery in Lipa City, Malvar, and surrounding areas, including Lima Technology Center, through a partnership between Aboitis Construction and Lima Enerzone, it added. So that's our news for the day. And may I also add a report, ano? Kung bakit nagsa-surge yung ating telco stocks from the Philippine Star. Telco stocks sizzle on rosy prospects. Ito yung report natin ng isang araw. Telco stocks are sizzling in the stock market despite the prevailing volatility as investors turn optimistic on the prospects of more liberalized telecommunication center in the country. Ayala led Globe Telecom reached a new all-time high yesterday, closing at 2,948, up 348 points or 13.38 percent after hitting a high of 2,994. Shares of uh, Pangilinan led PLDT finished 1,449 up 1,000 or 104 points or 7.73 percent near its 52-week high of 1487. Then is Uis Dito, CME Holdings Corp., the newest telco, also finished strong yesterday, rising by 9.54%, up 8.96 per share. Internet provider Converge of Pampanga-based uh, Dennis Uy or also continued to go up, rising 4.38% to hit a new high of 31 per share yesterday. 
Japheth Tantianko of Philstocks Financial said this comes on the back of growing calls from the private sector to proceed with further opening of the telecommunications sector to foreign investors through the amendments in the Public Service Act. Business Group said retaining telecommunications as a public entity would go against the very definition of a public utility. We noted recommendations from several senators to maintain the telecommunications industry as a public utility. If this recommendation is adopted, telecommunications will continue to be subjected to, a, to the 6040 foreign equity restriction in the 1987 constitution limiting foreign direct investment, said in a statement by Foundation for Economic Freedom and signed by the different business group. The business group said the country needs to attract more firms into the telecommunications industry to provide the necessary capital to build the infrastructure to address the digital divide. According to NEDA, data showed 64% of barangays in the Philippines do not have telecommunication power, 88% do not have any free Wi-Fi zone, and 70% do not have fiber optic cable installed. So we'll be taking a look later on the telecommunications no titingnan po natin ang tatlong telcos including uh, converge no so tel glow dnl and converge ang ating titingnan so let's now go to the philippine stock exchange index and the philippine stock exchange on how it fared on a profit taking friday the psei lost 33.91 points or 0.50 percent that's uh it ended at 67.86.62 pero bullish pa rin po siya kahit nag profit taking it ended with a small candlestick actually and um, the second day it ended with a small candlestick but if you'll take a look yung ating lagging indicators Yung EMA 50, EMA 20, and EMA 100 are still under the candlestick with RSI still bullish at 56. And then if we'll take a look at our market summary, 100 companies declined, 84 advanced, while 64 remained unchanged. While the all share index all declined by 0.02%, almost flat, the sectoral indices ended mixed. Actually, the financial and the, and the industrials ended in the green, while the holding companies, mining, properties, and services ended in the red. As for our most active stocks, we will be reviewing the following. First of all, before I proceed with that, may I just uh, greet our new subscriber, see si Eugene Arsena. And also, we have uh, June Renta and uh, my works edward c commented please review all hc so we will be placing all hc at the top and mike miguel commented uh, two or three days ago thanks a lot for your daily review on the stock market thank you also miguel for mike miguel for viewing our channel and uh, looking at our channel daily so let's review all hc AP, our news canina, DNL, Glow, Tel, Dito, and Converge. Most of these are, four of these are telco stocks. So, tingnan na po natin ang All HC. All HC, I think, tumataas. Yan, no? Tingnan mo yung formation ng candlesticks. Actually, formation ng ating mga indicators. It is moving upwards with a short-term indicator nagpipierce through siya the candles, on the candlesticks in from July 16 to the 21st pero it is most of the time under the candlesticks ngayon yung ating blue indicator yung ating medium term EMA serves as the support area while yung ating black indicator which is the 100 day exponential is well under the candlestick and it has been moving upwards with RSI at 68.11 no? and 
this is already the highest of Ayala land, you know. Sky's the limit, sabi nga nila, no? Pero nag-profit taking lang po siya today. At yung nearest support area ay nakikita ko po dito sa area ng to. Yan po. Yan po yung nearest support area ni All HC. And the momentum is there. So, it would probably move higher as the RSI, well, nag dip ng konti today. But uh, the momentum is already there for all HC to move higher. Ingat lang po tayo kung ang RSI mag-hit ng over 70 ay posibleng mag-reverse mag po yung trend. And then, avoid this power. Yan, avoid this power is also moving up. And yung, yung indicators natin are all lining up already, you know. Yung short-term indicator, which is well under the candlestick, plus our two indicators, the medium and short-term. And the um, medium is all already crossed the short-term, meaning there is already a definite trend. However, the RSI is at uh, 68, and it reached uh, over bot levels yesterday. So, ingat lang po tayo dito. So, mga rin nagko-consolidate lang po si AP on um, today, you know, kasi nag-profit taking today. Usually, Friday is a profit taking day. And then, DNL. Okay, DNL just um, moving sideways and it's bearish to sideways on the short term. On the long term, however, it is still moving up as our moving averages are under the candlestick. Pero yung short term niya is just piercing through. In fact, the closing price is uh, lower than our moving average. Pero I think this is just, uh, this may just be temporary. Abangan po natin. RSI po niya is, well, not bullish, not bearish. It's uh, at 49.48. Okay, so that's for DNL. Yung ating um, support area ay pwede nating ilagay sa EMA50 yung ating support level while the resistance level maaring pwede nating ilagay po dito di, sa area ng to at 848 support is at 810 when I talk of support and resistance these are not exact points but these are areas and then glow tingnan natin nangyari sa glow uy like profit taking up but it's not much no it's just a short red candlestick overbought na po ang stock pero tingnan po natin ang uh, susunod na kabanata dito there is a strong trend upwards and i think this will be sustained in the next few days unless baka makita po natin ang red candlestick ano yung succeeding yung mga successive red candlestick Yan po ang bantayan po natin, especially if the RSI is already overbought at 82. And then tell, I think nag profit taking din si tell o na sustain kaya. Yan, tumaas pa rin si tell, but it's a shorter candlestick. And kung titingnan po natin yung ang indicators ay bullish na po siya, overbought po si tell at 80. Pero tingnan po natin kung masasustain pa po yung kanyang momentum, ano? And there is volume po today. This is, I think, already at resistance level, no? Because this is the highest since September 2020. When it reached a peak of uh, 1464. Nasa 1467 na po siya. Sorry, it's 1485. Yung highest niya na na-achieve dito. Or 1487. So, ang highest po niya is 1,477 and 52-week high is 1,487. Resistance level na po si Tell. But there is, uh, nandun yung momentum eh. Ang hirap pigilin pagka nandun po yung momentum. Pero ingat lang po tayo dahil overbought na po yung stock. Another Telco stock is Dito. Let me check lang po if I'm recording. Okay. Si Dito po. I nag profit taking po today after a breakout for the next for the past uh, for yesterday I nag profit taking po siya today losing 36 centavos and uh, it is just at resistance level here actually the highest 
Yan po, resistance level po yan at 860. Nasa 872, malapit na po yung resistance level. It's within that area actually. The next resistance would be here at this level at uh, 14. Ano po? 14 pesos yung next. Or rather, let's say that's nasa 1130 to 1140 po yung next resistance level ni Dito. And then, converge. We will end with converge. Si converge naman, uy, patuloy na tumataas. Talagang napaka-bullish ni converge. And uh, it started somewhere here, no? Nag-consolidate siya at merong volume po dito. And tingnan niyo po yung ating indicator. So, talagang naka-line up siya. Ganito po yung forma ng mga may definite trend. Overbought na po yung stock. Pero kung titignan po natin ang ating mga indicators kasi, yung DMI. Example, for example, yung DMI. Kung titignan po natin yung DMI, yung DMI niya ay pataas, ano? So, it's uh, 60. Meaning, that the stock, even though it is overbought, mayroon pong definite trend. So, pataas pa po yung stock na ito unless magkaroon ng successive red candlestick at mag-reverse po yung trend. Okay, so yan po ang ating report sa stock market. August 27, Friday. Long weekend po tayo. Dahil Monday po ay walang pasok. See you again on Tuesday. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at pag-subscribe at pag-view. Until then, thank you, God bless, and bye for now.